Access granted. Wow! It's cowboy time. When I heard Ron Keel, I was like, whoa, no way. That can't be Keel. That can't be Ron Keel, the lead singer of Keel. You know, I was freaking out. Because I want to be a cowboy, baby. I am just a cowboy. Hey, cowboy. Oh, man, it's always good to hear your voice on the radio. I know exactly what time it is. It's Ron Keel time! Good morning, you sexy devil. The boy is bound to get dirty when he's playing cowboy. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Eddie Trunk, and you're listening to my old buddy, the rock and roll outlaw, Ron Keel. Welcome to the streets of rock and roll with your host, Ron Keel. Hell yeah, let's do this. Ground control, Metal Cowboy, you're cleared for takeoff. Your fearless front man reporting for duty. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there in the real world. Thanks for giving me a chance to entertain you for the next solid hour of rock and talk. Some shows are just easier than others. I'll admit, last week was a bitch. This one is going to be a very smooth cruise down the streets of rock and roll because we've got so much great new music to share with you this week. Fresh killer cuts on the chopping block. The latest from D. Snyder, KK's Priest, Mammoth, WVH, that's Wolf Van Halen, Ball Beat, lots more, and the latest single from my special guest, Aaron Lee, a solo artist and bassist for Y&T and the Frank Hannon Band. Aaron and I are good friends, and he's got some great stories to share. That'll be in segment number two, so keep your volume level right where it is. Better yet, turn it up a notch and come along for the ride. Thanks to my sponsors, the coolest memorabilia stores on the planet, Retroactive in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The Dead Daisies request their new hit, Like No Other, on rock radio and catch them on tour this summer, thedeaddaisies.com. Experience rock in the fast lane at rflrecords.com and get your next tattoo at Alien and Company in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, alienandco.com. Also, thanks to all the stations broadcasting the streets of rock and roll worldwide seven days a week. Find the complete list of stations and times at ronkeel.com. So many great new songs on the playlist this week, but I'm going to kick it off with a killer new band from Brazil. They're called Electric Gypsy, thanks to my dear friend Carlos Chironi from Animal Records in Brazil for turning us on to these guys. Find them online at electricgypsyband.com. You crank them up here and now on the streets of rock and roll.
Hey, this is D. Snyder from Twisted Sister. Do you want to rock? Well, you found the right place. You're rocking with my buddy Ron Keel. Brand new from D. Snyder, the new album Leave a Scar comes out July 30th. I got a great response, by the way, to last week's topic, which was split personalities. Bands that have splintered into one or more groups still working under the same or similar names. This is one that got left out of that mix, but certainly belongs in that uh, in that discussion. Not really, because there can only be one Judas Priest But now disgruntled guitarist K.K. Downing has joined forces with his former bandmate and former Judas Priest vocalist, Tim Ripper Owens. The band is called K.K.'s Priest, and this is their debut track, Hellfire Thunderbolt. Yeah. 
Sounds like Priest, KK's Priest. And another new track from that singer, Ripper Owens, is already on the playlist for next week. Just around the next curve, I'll speak with Y&T bassist and solo artist Aaron Lee. Great music and some really cool rock and roll stories. Keep it on and keep it up. The highly anticipated rock anthem of 2021 has arrived. The Dead Daisies return with Like No Other off the chart-topping album, Holy Ground. Glenn Hughes, Doug Aldrich, David Lowy, and Tommy Klepetos unleash Like No Other. 2021. Get the album Holy Ground now and request Like No Other 2021 on your rock station. And check out tour dates kicking off June 23rd at thedeaddaisies.com. Holy Ground Like No Other 2021. The Dead Daisies 2021 is about to get louder. This is the Metal Cowboy, Ron Keel, and I've got your all-access pass to tons of exclusive video and audio that you won't get anywhere else. Be a member at patreon.com slash Ron Keel. Special merchandise discounts, VIP access at my concert appearances, live online video chat, guitar clinics, vocal tips, songwriting workshops, live online house concerts, and much more. Welcome to Patreon. Hey, this is Aaron Lee, bassist for YNT. Meet me on the streets of rock and roll with Ron Keel. Crank it up.
live for today. Damn good advice from my dear friend Aaron Lee, a true music warrior who served time in the trenches with the Frank Hannon Band. Frank Hannon from Tesla. And uh, you and I, Aaron, have shared the stage many times. And for years now, you've been the bassist for Y&T. Welcome, Aaron Lee. I'm looking forward to this. How are you, man? I'm doing great, Ron. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. During the recent slowdown slash uh, shutdown, your band Y&T has been on hiatus, but you've continued to release solo singles like Live for Today and do solo acoustic performances whenever and wherever you can. You've obviously tried to stay as, as active as possible. Talk about that inner drive that motivates you to always create music and entertain people. Just a, it's a life, life or musician, man. You know, a lot like you, Ron. Um, and I respect that in, in my uh, peers that, you know, keep continuing on even when things seem to be getting tough, man. They just keep rolling through and do what you do. Um, you know, we do this just because we love it for the most part. That's why we started doing music when we were kids and, and getting into, uh, you know, playing instruments, you know. So being uh, the age that I am and we are, uh, you know, to keep uh, doing this and having the opportunity to do it, we should do it because uh, as the song talks about a little bit in, you know, the lyrics and live for today is, you know, things can be taken away tomorrow, man. So you got to do what you got to do today. Keep it on, keep it on, you know. I encourage our audience to go online at AaronLee.com. That's A-A-R-O-N-L-E-I-G-H.com and enjoy what this guy has to offer. Uh, Aaron, when we met, you, Frank Hannon, and I were working together. We did some great gigs, man. Uh, did we rock the Fillmore in San Francisco together or was that just a dream? <laughs> Well, you know, that was a dream, but it was a dream come true. And what was cool about that is, you know, that was sort of a bucket list uh, thing to do. And because of you, solely because of you, by asking me to accompany you that night, I got to play the historical Fillmore in San Francisco. You, you knock venues like the Fillmore off your bucket list. And, you know, I did Madison Square Garden three nights in a row, and the Fillmore ranks right up there with those legendary venues where so much rock history has happened. And you and I got to share that stage together, and we were opening for Y&T. Not long after that, you landed the gig in Y&T. How did that come about? You know, the way that came about, um, I was just telling the story the other day that when Frank uh, got me in his solo band, <clears throat> which you know was just such a lucky break for me and being such a fan and, and Frank's such a great guy. Um, when I got in his solo band, it, it, you know, we stayed busy doing that. And then as soon as Tesla got busy, obviously Frank's solo project gets sidelined. And what was great about Frank, man, is instead of leaving me behind, he included me, brought me into the Tesla fold and I worked for Tesla as a guitar tech. And so I was, you know, te uh, teching for Frank Hannon. And basically, uh, Joe Manichetti caught wind of this, that I was doing some guitar teching at the time. And Y&T needed a guitar tech for 30 days for their U.S. tour, which their uh, you know main tech couldn't do that portion of the tour. And, of course, I jumped at the chance because you know, I would have loved to... Uh, you know, uh, be able to fondle Dave Menachetti's, uh, 1968 Les Paul, you know, wow. uh, who wouldn't want to do that? Yeah. I mean, I'm a, I was a huge Y&T fan to begin with since, since being a teenager. So this was a big deal for me. So I, I jumped at the opportunity to be a, a guitar tech for Dave Menachetti, uh, on that tour. And then shortly after that tour, after 30 days, about a couple of weeks later, I get an email from Jill, and she is asking me if I'm interested in possibly joining the band. And, of course, I jumped at that opportunity and went and played with the guys. And about five songs in, I think we all knew what was going on and that it was going to work. And next thing you know, I'm the new bass player in YNT, and that was in 2016. Wow, what a great story, man. And from roadie to rock star, really. You were a rock star before you were a roadie. You just, I, I've done the same, the same deal, man. I went on tour with Leonard Skinner for two weeks to be their t-shirt guy, just so I could say I toured with Leonard Skinner. So I get it. But going from roadie to rock star, <laughs> awesome, man. that happened pretty quickly for you because, uh, Brad Lang replaced legendary bassist Phil Kenimore in Y&T, and that Brad was let go pretty abruptly. And I don't think you had too long 
to adjust to the gig or to learn the show. You were you were in there pretty quickly after Brad's departure, so you uh, you had to to put the pedal down very quickly in that gig. Is that correct? Yeah, but what was great and and what made it easy for me was I was just so familiar with the material because I've lived with that material basically my whole life. Um, when I was a teenager learning how to play bass, you know, I would play to Y and T records and pick out all the filled bass lines. So when I got in the room with these guys, it was just like riding a bike. I just naturally already knew these songs, you know, because they were ingrained in me. So it was a pretty easy transition. You know, I mean, uh, honestly, um, there was a, like a point where, uh, even before, uh, the YT gig, I did a few shows with Jack Russell, Gray White, and it was just, a um, you know, to, to go out and, and do these shows because, uh, they didn't have a bass player at the time. They were in a transition of, of getting a bass player. And I had to learn that material fairly quickly as well. And, I wasn't too familiar with a lot of their deep cuts. So that was, to me, that was a lot of work, right? But with Y&T, man, it was just easy. And, you know, the transition was seamless. So maybe that's why things are, are working out so well. Aaron Lee, on the phone and on the streets of rock and roll. Once again, the, the website is Aaron Lee, A-A-R-O-N-L-E-I-G-H. All Ron Keel fans and, and most of my listeners and audience are, are obviously also Y&T fans. So I got to ask you, what's going on with Y&T and when are you guys going to get back in action? Any future plans that you can discuss or divulge at this time? Well, here's the true answer to this. Um, I haven't seen the guys in 15 months. Um, it's been very limited conversations in the last 15 months. And there's been nothing going on with Y&T in the last 15 months, honestly. Uh, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. August 13th, we come back for the first time. August 13th in Reno. And the next night in my town here in Rockland, California at Quarry Park Amphitheater, August 14th. So it looks like things are starting to shed some, uh, you know, some promise here. We do have a European tour that has been pushed out to 2022, which has been being moved around, you know, in the last 15 months here. So hopefully that sticks and hopefully uh, the calendar will stabilize and we'll continue on as we did, you know, back before everything hit the fan. So oh, I hope so, man. There's light so. at the end of the tunnel. Good. Good yeah. to hear that. And in the meantime, all of our audience and listeners can, of course, once again, find Aaron at AaronLee.com, A-A-R-O-N-L-E-I-G-H.com. And you just did a killer new video with Frank Cannon, Ride Strong. Everybody enjoy this song and video clip on YouTube. Tell me about the clip with Frank and, and how it was to, to get back between the lines, so to speak, in that fancy sports car and with that bass strapped onto your shoulder with your buddy Frank Cannon. Well, I was uh, once again honored to be in a video with Frank and play on his new single, Ride Strong. Uh, he had sent me the song and just, you know, just as, just so I can just listen to it. And I, I got back to him and I was like, man, this, this just kicks ass, man. And he was like, well, I want you to play bass on it. I said, but Frank, the, the bass sounds great on here. Whatever you played, it sounds great. I probably wouldn't stray too far from what you're doing. And he said, but I want Aaron Lee to play on it, man. And I said, well, then, God damn it, I'm on it. Yeah. So I, I ran back, jumped in and threw a bass track on it. He dug what I did, uh, and he put it out. And we did the video, which was a lot of fun. Uh, he was driving that uh, that car pretty fast, and he was kind of <laughs> scary, man. He was, he was freaking me out a little bit. But we had a great time that day shooting that video. And I think it's at around 26,000 plays on YouTube, and it's only been out a couple of weeks. So, so it's pretty good, man. I think people are really digging Ride Strong. Absolutely. Listen to the track and check out my special guest, Aaron Lee, with our friend Frank Hannon on the new cut, Ride Strong. You find that on YouTube. Just uh, search Frank Hannon, Ride Strong. You'll find that clip, and you'll find my guest, Aaron Lee, on YouTube and online once again at Aaron lee.com dude i really appreciate your time the conversation your music your friendship your drive all that and i can't wait to see you again out there on the road or hopefully beside me on stage somewhere sometime soon 
Well, Ron, I really appreciate your friendship. And again, you know, including me in, in uh, parts of your career, you know, those are standout moments for me. And I really appreciate you taking me into your fold. So, uh, yeah, man, look forward to seeing you and Renee out there on the road sometime. And uh, for uh, Live for Today is uh, going to be hitting the streaming platforms on June 25th. But you can still go to the website, AaronLee.com, and grab a download, or you can stream it from my website. We've already heard Live for Today at the top of this interview. Now let's close it out with the new Frank Hannon single featuring Aaron Lee. Ride strong down the streets of rock and roll. unedited versions of the interviews you hear on the streets of rock and roll subscribe to the podcast ron keel podcast experience rock in the fast lane with rfl records rfl is giving us great new music from corners of sanctuary soft suicide 
and the debut full-length album from Jeff Carlson Band. Visit rflrecords.com for all these great releases and the RFL podcast, Talk in the Fast Lane. rflrecords.com. Bedroom. I can take it in the living room. I can take it in the car, in the office, pretty much anywhere. I need something. You're on the streets of rock and roll. You're not 
Hey, this is Ron Keel from the Ron Keel Band, Steeler and Keel. And you got it, the right to shop at the coolest stores on the planet, specializing in all things 70s, 80s, and 90s. Retroactive and Retroactive Part 2 in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and online at shopretroactive.com. And I'll be there with you to celebrate Retroactive's Sweet 16 Anniversary Celebration on Saturday, July 31st. That's right, the Metal Cowboy live in store at Retroactive. I'm going to play some music, take some photos, sign some autographs, basically shop all night and party all day. Music, movies, memorabilia, and more. Retroactive and Retroactive Part 2 have it all. Once again, I'm Ron Keel, and I can't wait to see you at Retroactive Saturday, July 31st. Visit ShopRetroactive.com. Hi, this is Glenn Hughes, and I'm with Ron Keel on the streets of rock and roll.
Don't Back Down. That is Mammoth WVH, Wolf Van Halen, with a stellar debut album. Very highly recommended and just released as another edition of the Streets of Rock and Roll disappears in a cloud of dust in the rearview mirror. As always, it's been a blast, a pleasure, an honor, and a thrill. Rocking your speakers, your earbuds, and your radios. Please keep up with me at ronkeel.com. Get on the mailing list. Thanks for listening, and live the rock, Sheldon! you believe in aliens? I do. Alien and Company, my go-to tattoo shop in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Alien and Company, online at alienandco.com. 738 South 1st Avenue, right near downtown Sioux Falls. Call 605-338-6702. They have Ron Keel Band music and merch in stock. And the tattoo artists are out of this world. Alien and Company. Alienandco.com. Tell them the Metal Cowboy sent you. I'm not saying it's 